So here's another cool little track, and I put the ruler there so you can see how big they are, or rather how small. These are brush rabbit tracks. If I take the ruler away, the exposure will get better, I think. So what you have here are the two paired hind feet of a brush rabbit, which is my local species of cottontail. The only cottontail found here. And these hind feet are paired usually because these rabbits move in a bounding gait where their propulsion comes from pushing off with both back legs at the same time. So you get often the only indication of the track will be the claw marks. So in this case they have four claws on their hind feet and five on their front. We don't see the front tracks here because it's a very light animal. They weigh about two pounds. So looking up close at this you can see that it's asymmetrical in orientation. So if you were to run a run a line across this, so this is the direction of travel is it that way. So put an imaginary line here and they're uh, canted outward. So they're asymmetrical. So this line of travel is straight forward in that direction. So there you have asymmetry because this toe is ahead of that toe and this toe is ahead of that toe. Same thing over here because their feet sort of can't outward, kind of like that. So it pushed off right here and took off running, but I don't see any other tracks. You know why? Because this substrate is relatively firm and it's hard to make a mark in it. So if you're a two pound animal, you're not going to make a very big mark. But brush rabbits got their name because they don't like to go very far from the brush. So this is right on the river's edge. When the water's up, it's up here. And it was up here about a week ago when the water was high. Um, but it's since dropped down. And uh, brush rabbits, they'll live in places like this. They'll just be up in here, in these little tiny places in between. That's where brush rabbits live. They have runs all through here. Plenty of little runs, you probably find scats in there, and they eat the plants in here. So they're sheltered most of the time. They rarely come out in the open like this. This is a pretty open place for a brush rabbit, and I can't imagine one going out there. But this close to the brush, it wouldn't be a problem, because it could always run back into the brush and be safe. So that's your brush rabbit track, at least the hind feet anyway. and. Hope you've enjoyed this tour of uh, tracks on the South Fork Eel River.